We'll guide you through how to move photos from your iPad to an external disk or drive, like a hard drive or SSD. If you find this guide useful, then please consider subscribing and liking the video. Firstly, you need to identify what port your iPad has. So on the bottom of it, you're gonna have a port here, which is basically how you charge it. We can also connect things to it as well. So either it's gonna be USB-C or a lightning port. The best way to identify what port you have is to look at your charging cable. If your charging cable looks like this and it's sort of hollow inside like that, then this means you've got a USB-C port on your iPad. But if it looks like this, then this is a lightning cable here on the right. As you can see, it's solid on top and it's also got those sort of connectors there. This is a lightning, whereas this is USB-C. And most newer iPads will be using USB-C, while older ones will be using Lightning. Now that you know what port you've got, you now want to go and look at your hard drive, because some hard drives, for example, if this was a USB-C hard drive, I could potentially plug this straight into my iPad. Of course it isn't, it's just a USB-A, the sort of traditional version of USB. Some drives will be able to go and plug straight in, but the majority of them won't be, and you'll need to go and use an adapter. So this is the adapter I use here. This is a USB-C adapter to USB-A, as you can see on top, got USB-C and then to A. So I'm gonna go and put a link down below to a load of different adapters, USB-C and lightning adapters as well. So go, go and get one. And then all you want to do is go and plug the one end into your iPad. Then you can go and plug your hard drive into your iPad like that. And so we've now gone and connected it. Now, if you go and get a pop-up saying something like this drive uses too much power, this means your iPad basically can't power your drive and so you'll probably need to go and use another one. That's sort of the easiest solution. And then what we need to do is go and open up our photos, just like so. And now you need to choose the photos and videos which you wish to transfer. So go to the top right and click on select and then tap on the photos you want to go and transfer. Of course, you can do videos as well. Then once you've selected them, go and click on the share button in the bottom left. And then you need to go and scroll down and so you see the option save to files. Click on that and your files will open up and you need to go over to the left into locations and look for your hard drive. As you can see there mine is, mine's called Seagate and it's also got that sort of drive icon on the left. So go and click on it and it will take a moment to load and then you'll need to go and choose where you want to go and save the photos. So you could just save them generally on your drive or you could go and create a new folder by clicking on the folder button in the top right. Mine's now loaded and so I'll just go and save them in the drive. I'll go and find them later but it's easier to make a folder really. So yeah, go and click save and then it will take a, a few seconds to save depending upon how big the photos are and videos. If there's a lot of them and that they're sort of high in size then it will take longer. 